Hello, welcome to the website on Counterfeit Goods and the Public's Health and Safety, a study of interventions. This was a study done under a cooperative arrangement between Widener University School of Law, Health Law Institute, and the United States Patent and Trademark Office, who we thank for its support. This was a study to look at interventions that countries have tried over the last 10 years to combat counterfeit goods that could cause harm to humans, animals, and plants. Now, of course, any of those interventions would also combat counterfeit goods for the protection of the rights holder. But our main concern was for the health aspect of the problem. The study follows a 2003 published study that declared that globally counterfeit goods are a public health problem. No country is spared from this scourge, no adult or child as well. And it doesn't matter whether it's a developing country or an undeveloped country. Counterfeit goods are here and they are a problem. So what we've done with the interventions is to consider what they are. They have, been, they have been grouped by the branch of government that has tried the intervention. So that's the legislative branch, the regulatory branch, and the law enforcement branch, whether it's the law enforcement police or military or the law enforcement agents within regulatory departments. The interventions were assessed to determine whether they work, and if so, why, and if, if not, why not. And from this work, we are able to know now some of the best practices going forward to combat this problem. If you would like, you can read the report, which is on the website here, and it's followed by a comments and contributions form, which we encourage you to use to please let me know what it is that you think of this project and its content. We also welcome any additional information you may have. You may have a report, you may have a body of law or a regulation or a strategic plan that you are using in your country. Some of these things we are unable to find through the digital databases that are available to us or they have been released subsequent to this report's publishing in this month of February 2012. You'll also find uh, archival material of other reports that have been done by myself on this topic, as well as re reference material on data, monitoring and evaluation, and also the, our understanding of counterfeit goods as environmental pollutants. And finally, there are training materials. There's a Train the Trainer manual, as well as four modules that are online webinar materials that you are able to download for free by simply filling out the form that's available to you. I'd like to know who's pulling the information. Now those webinar materials are general to any country. It, they start with module number one, the main module, which is for any audience. And then there are modules for legislators, regulators, and law enforcement. There is some duplication in the material between the modules. However, the report has information in it that is not in the modules because it just would be impossible to include the wealth of information gathered in the report in the modules and have them be short enough for you to take the time to listen. But also, the modules take you forward in the process of looking at your own country and assessing its status according to the tool that's been developed for you, as well as to encourage you to develop your own strategic plan and there is material in the modules that's not in the report, and in particular, that's about data management, uh, monitoring and evaluation, as well as the uh, environmental aspects of destruction of counterfeit goods. So I encourage you to have a walk through the website, as well as to send me any questions or comments you may have. My name is Michelle Forsley. I am a professor here at Widener Law in Wilmington, Delaware. You can also request any assistance from me that you may want in order to use this material to your best advantage. It's designed so that trainers in your country can offer the material, and I encourage trainers to do that. There is transcript information there, too, on recommended formats for the course material. And I'm happy to help you if you need any assistance whatsoever in adapting the material 
to your specific context. Thank you very much for visiting the website. I hope you find useful information here. And please don't hesitate to contact me if I can be of assistance to you in any way.